came to know Jesus Christ through my parents who were believers in Jesus. They loved the Lord. They took us to the little country church uh, every Sunday morning, every Sunday night, every you know, Wednesday night. Uh, we were taught to love the scriptures, to love the, you know, the story of the church, uh, and, and we did. By the time I was 15 years old, I had my own Bible. I was marking it up. I had been baptized. I came to totally love Jesus, and becoming a disciple of Jesus totally changed my life. And, and I, I started on this journey of getting to know Him better, getting to know the Scriptures better, uh, and sharing my faith with others. So when I was in high school, I would debate, you know, we would have debates about stuff and everything. And the only Catholics I knew were really people that I debated with, you know, stuff. And uh, so over the years, I went through a process of becoming uh, more and more Catholic in my thinking. First was the social teachings of the church. I really got to me and I thought, boy, the Catholics, they've really written on these social teachings and they're so beautiful. Uh, and then some of the teachings of the church. And then I started visiting Catholic churches, just visiting. And then visiting monasteries and visiting people who knew Jesus. And I thought, oh my land, you know, I came from a background where Catholics weren't even Christians. And I got to meet these people, and it's like, they, they're, they're such fantastic people. Now, not every Catholic is on fire for Jesus, but I met a lot of them who were, and they helped me to rethink the Catholic Church. And so through a long process of study and discernment, uh, I, I came closer and closer to the Catholic Church. But it wasn't the easiest thing to do. I mean, I came from an anti-Catholic background, uh, and so I had to deal with not only head things, but then things down in my heart. Uh, so I, I could I flush the things out of my head that were anti-Catholic. But there's a lot of stuff that gets stuffed down in your soul, and it takes time for God to get that out. So through a series of events of knowing people, of, of going and experiencing, going to Mass for the first time, observing, seeing what was there, I came more and more to fall in love with it. In fact, here I'm still a minister in, a, in a, another Christian uh, tradition, but I began to think of myself, you know, George, you are, in many ways, you're just thoroughly Catholic. So I was wondering what I should do, and eventually God did lead me out of the church I was in and into the Catholic Church. And when I came into the Catholic Church, I wasn't under any illusions that everybody was perfect. By then I had met some Catholics that weren't exactly on fire for Jesus. Uh, and, and, and yet I found many that, that were, many who were converts, many cradle Catholics who brought the tradition, the wealth of the church. And what I found in the Catholic Church were resources to help me to become even more fully Christian. I found things like uh, a fuller understanding of the Bible, which I loved. I found the catechism. One vacation that week as others were doing other things, I was reading the catechism. I, I fell in love with the catechism. I fell in love with many of the other resources, the saints in particular. I found men and women of all the ages who loved Jesus and showed that love, gave their lives for Jesus. And at the time we had Pope John Paul II who was such an inspiration to me because he was so dynamic and a preacher of the gospel. Yet there was Mother Teresa who lived the life. You know, she was maybe a great speaker, but she lived the life and she showed me. And I had always uh, admired people who were great speakers, great teachers, very smart and everything. And then here's this little woman who's just serving the poorest of the poor. And it just, it really brought me to my knees. So as my friends would ask me, George, what did you find in the Catholic Church? My answer is almost always the same. Sheer beauty. It's beautiful. Her saints, her faith, her liturgy, the liturgy is fabulous. Her liturgy of the hours, her other liturgies, her devotions, everything about her is beautiful. And I knew nothing of this beauty. I'd caught a glimpse of it through reading the history of the saints and the church. But then to actually come in and experience that beauty myself, uh, it's, it's the most amazing thing I could have never imagined that my life would be as a Catholic and as such a happy Catholic. And to be a deacon, actually to be able to lead liturgies and to preach, it's like I've died and gone to heaven. <laughs>